I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. You got a fun video with the Smallin and the Marceau, one of the, probably the most broken uh, ships out there uh, to do a duo with. And uh, man, this thing is super, super powerful combination. And uh, even combined with the strategies is really, really awesome to see it in play. But before we get into like, subscribe, button below. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Uh, you guys are doing been great, uh, building a great community making better relations and having a blast learning something and and just having a good time uh just sharing ideas and uh tactics and just having a ball so anyways let's get to it here the is the replay for uh clan battles right now with um a small and again this is seven versus seven uh we have a uh, marceau and small and leading the front the strategy is going to basically be uh pushing uh, to the north, to Charlie, with two destroyers uh, and right into the cap. And then we're going to have a, a battleship and a cruiser hold Bravo. And then, of course, another battleship and cruiser supporting. So let's kind of just do initial position. We'll play, I'll play it so you can kind of see uh, where it, it uh, starts off at. And you can see right there, there's initial positioning right there. So you have Marceau, a small one. Basically, the idea is to uh, bully the destroyer anything out there and eliminating one player off the map right off the bat with a Marceau and small in combination It's very very strong very very powerful and it can be uh, very crucial if you can take one of the enemy's destroyers pluck their eyes out and ears And now they're kind of rendered defenseless without a destroyer spotting on that side Meanwhile, we have the Moskva posting up on this island giving us radar coverage at Charlie in case we that uh, destroyer does pop smoke We do have that coverage small and already has its own radar again another powerful combination with high DPM and heals as well as the radar combination you have two radars over here basically that's very very deadly and scary against any destroyer player for an enemy destroyer player marceau highest dpm in the game french saturation speed that is another key key component right there to blast another dd as well incomparable obviously has big guns but again it can be squishy at times in the clan battle so it is there to support but also in a kiting manner and of course you have the um, southern portion of uh, bravo there you have montana san martin and commissar commissar being very powerful uh, I mean, again, if you're not cheating, you ain't trying. Uh, the comments are, I agree. I don't like carriers in the game, but it's there, so why not use it to your advantage to be clan battles? Comments will provide a support at Bravo, but also plane spotting for the entire region. San Martin has a 9-kilometer radar, so that can help with the D. St. Mar Martin is basically another D destroyer in itself. As soon as it gets spotted, boom, pop the radar, and you reveal the destroyer. Montana, obviously, is a big battleship of sword. So that's kind of the initial push. Let's take a look at the video and actually see how it actually turns out, and then we'll an analyze the replay and uh, keep it going right there so here is the replay uh for this particular uh, scenario so we have the of course marceau going out front speeding right off the bat to the cap to get it uh, being capped right off the bat to force the enemy's hand going hey they're taking cap maybe they'll make a mistake and push rpf obviously you see has um are uh, detecting uh, a threat uh, somewhere in front of us right here closest threat is out front over here in front of Gudenlaus so I look 8.1 and the RPF is facing that way which means there's a target less than 8 kilometers inside that range that's a great usage of situational awareness and your uh, information technology to let you know where is the threat right off the bat so I know there's a destroyer there he is destroyer 6.8 so I was I was correct so that is a very good way to use RPF and using other spotting abilities to your advantage now right here the daring is going to get bullied by not only us but as well as the Marceau again two of the bones uh, OP uh, DPM ships in the game, small and Marceau combo, especially with their smoke. Uh, sorry, with the radar capabilities of the small end, very very powerful. We pop the radar there. He's perma spotted by us uh, for another 14 seconds. So essentially, he is just fair game at this point. He's just got to run away. Meanwhile, we're still taking as much damage off of him as much as we can, reducing and mitigating his heals. Now, Daring doesn't have heals, unfortunately. If we're going to keep starting fires and shooting at him, it kind of negates his heals right off the bat, and that's our goal is to negate him and recovering that health uh, so that we can, we can kill him off in the longer run. Now, Goon Lau right here. Goon Lu, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, 4,000 HP. We can take this easily. A small and very, very good DPM, very good fire starting capabilities. He only gets one shot. Unfortunately, he goes down for the count and... 
He's popped the seal and boom, there it goes. Splash one, it goes down. We take out a cruiser. That was crucial, an airstrike cruiser. So right now we've got Charlie. We don't need to push or rush this thing. We can cap our um, uh, two caps and hopefully uh, get the... Ooh, we lose our St. Martin right there's the incomparable. And again, incomparable can, can be squishy at times, but it has the, the heel and those big guns that really can do significant damage right there. So actually our Bravo team is struggling. Montana is in full reverse, getting bullied by four ships. Commissar is in the reverse as well. We lose our Montana to the gearing. Again, a powerful destroyer. I love gearing, by the way. I can see the, the futility in it. The utility inside of a gearing, a torpedo destroyer boat. It is so, so powerful, and it can really hold off an entire flank. Right there, we're retreating. Now, they've got Alpha Bravo. I've always said this is the most optimal plan right here, to hold Alpha Bravo and just wait for the points to run out. But the cool thing is we have a fast ship destroyer like Marceau, and we have a DD Hunter like Smallin. And that's exactly what we're going to do right here. We're going to switch to eliminate one player at a time mentality right here. So, again, you can win the game based on points, but we can also win the game by slowly killing one player at a time. And then come at, as soon as players start windling off the map, the enemy players are gone, you can then go and cap the points from behind. Here we go. Daring right here. Pop the, uh, or we spot him first. If he smokes up, we save that radar. Again, you don't have to use the radar until you spot him, until he fires. He's going to fire. You know he is. So we're going to use this advantage. He's not popping smoke, so we can save our radar. And boom, the DPM firepower takes out the Daring with our health and heals right there. And that is splash two of the game. 29,000 damage in the first seven minutes of the game. And now we're going to avoid Ohio. Now, here's another crucial technique for destroyer players. Do not pop your heals or damage con until you are done being spotted. And you see a fire, you can damage con that uh, once you go undetected. So right now, we're still detected. And the last salvo of the district, yep, they're right there. It started a fire on us. That would have been crucial and detrimental to us. That's why I save that damage con until you wait, until you're unspotted, undetected. Then you can use it to uh, heal up anything, Me making sure that you're not going to take any unnecessary damage. Okay, so right now, what's the score right now? We are neck and neck almost, kind of really pretty much tied. Four ships versus our five, but we can still lose us. So we're going to cap Alpha from behind. Again, a great... Uh, idea for Marceau and Smallin working together, using that speed and agility to go in and cap points behind, causing the enemy to get flustered and have to reposition to uh, reassess the, the situation and um, try to come back to a, um, a bad, I would say a bad spot for their team. Unfortunately, we lose one of our ships, our Moscow. So that's really, really bad. Radar cruiser, we definitely could have used them. Now they have a big incomparable. Our, our RPF is showing that there is the other destroyer or something else out here, either the Wooster or the Gearing. So I'm not really sure. We're going to make sure we save this radar in case that Gearing does pop his smoke and keep, save that in our hip pocket. We have DPM on the Gearing. However, he don't underestimate the Gearing's uh, firepower. They are strong, and the Wooster has radar, so we have to turn away right here. We get spotted first. I'm going to go ahead and spot this Gearing right out of the back because I know I need to engage quickly. And again, he starts firing at us. Again, he's a full health, uh, you know, gearing right now. Let's see how much damage we can take to help our um, our team out. Again, this is kind of a disadvantage here. We only had 6k health-ish, and we had a full, almost full health gearing. And let's see if we can knock this guy out as fast as we can to help. Now, he's got help from the Wooster here. So, uh, man, again, Smallin being very, very powerful in this regard. And boom, he takes us out. Okay, so we knock him down to as low health as we can get him. Maybe about 6 to 7k. Wooster is still at 16,000, but he is being aimed at by the incomparable. So, and he's getting, we are getting spotting from the Commissar. Again, I think that's kind of, uh, un, you know, a broken, unfair thing for his plane spotting. But, oh, well, if you're not cheating, you ain't trying in warfare. So, here we go. Uh, Wooster is going to take some shots, and he jukes the sh incomparable shot very, very well. Let's see if we can nail it. We just got to get that gearing out and you know, take away spotting and take away torpedoing, and that will help us out a lot. See, he is still firing uh, on Marceau. Marceau, very speed and very quick and using that juking ability. Here we go. Gearing is down to 6,500. We got him down to 6,500, ladies and gentlemen, after our 6 to 7,000 health. So that is the power of the DPM of the small one. If we can just get a lucky shot on the gearing, we are back in this game, folks. And right now, gearing is going to go ahead and pop back into Bravo, probably, and try to torp our incomparable. Uh, meanwhile, ooh, Wooster is using that gearing smoke. Again, gearing smoke, very, very powerful. Two minutes uh, cooldown or uh, lasting time. So it lasts so, so um, uh, long that, that it gives you the ability to just sit there and spam HE from that smoke, and it's pretty awesome. And gearing is getting a little pinched right here. Hopefully those torpedoes can connect. I'm not really sure. I mean, the gearing doesn't really have to engage. He can really just run and keep the two caps. Ohio's capping Charlie right there. So very, very strong. They literally have this game in the bag. Unfortunately, Gearing will be spotted, I believe. I don't know what he was thinking right here. This was that one mistake where Gearing did not have to engage Marceau. Deep in on the Marceau, so powerful, just like the Mar Again, Gearing going up against a small one and a Marceau, so, so powerful. Uh, just unable to uh, survive the amount of firepower brought to bear. And boom, they're incomparable. There come the big caliber guns. 
I believe those are 457 millimeter guns. No, no, those are actually the big kind of Shikishima guns. I forgive me. I, I forgot what the caliber is, guys. I don't have it in front of me right now. I think it's got. It makes the sound of the Shikishima guns. Uh, I think they're five tens, five oh fives, whatever. They're, they're basically big guns. They just uh, do a significant amount of damage. Very, very powerful. Make the cool sound, and that is how that game ends right there. We go ahead and uh, pull this win through. And let's take a look at Ohio's uh, caps, but unfortunately we cap Alpha Bravo and we just win on points right there. So that is the power. Let's take a look at the replay. Um, again, uh, very, very strong combination. Let's take a look at the uh, replay from the render system here. Here's how that actual map actually turned out. Again, you can see right off the bat, uh, eliminating uh, the Gun Lao and then it helps us to uh, chase down the Daring. Uh, which gives us that spotting ability. Now, they take Alpha Bravo. Again, taking Alpha Bravo was a key, compo a key component, maybe, if they could hold on to it to win the game. Ohio does a great job, full, almost full health, really. But the, what really turned the tide right here is us going and capping Alpha from the rear and then taking on this, the gearing right there. Um, that engagement, although we did lose it, we brought him down to 6K health, which allowed the Smarso to take and compare from behind. And then all of a sudden, uh, just I, again, I don't understand the, the gearing. It could have just survived. If he had just survived right there, didn't have to engage and then marceau's dpm just eliminates everything right there and that is actually how uh we in turn cap and take alpha bravo again at the end of the day we, we took alpha bravo and just win on points again alpha bravo in this particular my personal opinion is the strong key component of the game again it's two caps versus one plus you can just sit here and guard and they have to push through a channel which gives that focus fire ability so very very strong in that regard and uh that's how that map turned out let's take another look another uh video of the the marceau small and combo and uh, and see how powerful again it can be all right, we are on Warrior's Path right here, and this is Warrior's Path with the 3DD combination here with Marceau, Gearing, and Small. Again, a very, very powerful combination. Uh, you can sacrifice a cruiser with Marceau and Smallin, in my personal opinion, uh, even though you sacrifice on DPM radar, but you still have Smallin radar, DPM of Marceau and Smallin. And of course, you have a torpedo boat like Gearing. So again, very, very strong. What's the initial positioning look like? So uh, we got basically Smallin and Marceau moving together as a one unison cohesive unit, going to Alpha and hopefully taking on that as well. Gearing is going to go ahead and spot through the middle. Charlie's are uh, obviously Charlie right here is a obviously freebie uh, kind of uh, cap point. The biggest one contesting point that usually at uh, Warriors Path is Alpha. So taking this um, eventually will allow yourself to. I would say put yourself in a good position where you force the enemy to actually have to rush in and, and take it. So, again, I've always said you don't win the game by capping first, but you can push the enemy's hand by forcing them to actually want to draw themselves into a bad situation, uh, meet, allowing yourself to either ambush them, focus fire them, or even, um, you know, I would say uh, cause... Uh, poor positioning in that part. And again, I've always said you can't correct poor positioning, right? So again, here we go, Marceau off the right off the bat. Now we engage the first destroyer. So this is a great spread right here. Three destroyer spread, allowing us to, you know, if we spot one at Alpha, we have radar from small and to baby shoot right behind this island at Alpha. Marceau can then flank and then shoot into Alpha. So that's great positioning. Most uh, battle cruisers and uh, radar uh, cruisers will sit at this island right here and try to hold and just kind of right out of the entire area. So again, you have to have egress points. Marceau has the ability to egress to the west of Alpha. Smallin has the ability to egress to the east. So that mitigates that, but then you also have the ability to spot center right here and then take on their destroyer. Of course, San Martin, in my personal opinion, is already kind of like a mini, or, or sorry, larger destroyer, uh, radar destroyer, because it has its radar and concealment of 9.1. Vermont sits in the middle, providing fire support in all directions. Commissar will sit in the back again, plane spotting. I'm sorry, that's the way the method is right now. Of course, Wisconsin can support Alpha from any direction. So let's take a look at the video and actually see how it turns out and uh, how it actually plays out with this positioning, initial, uh, initial positioning. So right here on Warrior's Path, we got we showed the initial positioning of uh, gearing, Smolin, and Marceau. I'm supporting Marceau. Now, RPF is showing that, again, that gearing was in the middle there. So again, I'm looking at, okay, there's a threat right there in the middle. Yep, and then there is gearing. He is in within 7.5 uh, detection of our radar so again our radar goes out to 7.5 if he decides to smoke up we have the gearings uh so our friendly gearing will then be able to shoot and we're going to go ahead and try to pop uh, our engine there he goes i think i see smoke right there we're going to go ahead and pop our engine boost and get into position as quick as possible radaring uh, at the same time giving all of our players the ability to shoot everybody focus fire shoots anything you can that is the key to winning the game focus fire on every single destroyer that you can get that helps you and gives you a better probability of winning and boom splash one again power of the small one eliminating a great great um as a great hunter killer for destroyers and it's a very 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 powerful mode and uh clan battles as well i mean i've always said it's um, almost op but tier s 
uh, whatever you want to call it. Just super, super powerful. I'll really enjoy the small one. Unfortunately, it's not available um, anymore for purchase. Uh, it was back in the day, but maybe they'll bring it back or maybe they won't because it's too broken. Again, look at the power of the small one right here. Long range shooting. We've got this out to a full gun build, 13.7. Uh, I may decide to switch this back to a shorter gun build, but this is the power of what the small one can do because of the rate of fire. Again, I didn't build into the guns or anything. I just built long range. And the reload, again, already alone is 1.5. So this can be annoying for any kind of destroyer, or sorry, cruiser player that just sitting behind an island. And again, I, I, I build it for this reason because a lot of radar cruisers like to just sit back in the islands and, and just want to shoot. Uh, unfortunately, he can't use his radar because we're outside of 10 kilometers. We're at 11.3. His uh, Des Moines radar only goes to 10. So again, we're gonna just use this opportunity to start as many, many fires as he can. It's really hard for him to damage con because, okay, he'll damage con right there and, and then we'll, well, actually he already did it. And now we're just gonna try to start as many more fires as possible. We'll uh, damage con that. I think we can only last maybe one more hit uh, before we gotta get out of dodge. But again, very, small and very powerful with the engine boost, being able to dodge and juke shells. And we'll just speed this up. You guys understand, hey, yeah, farm me up. We got another fire right there. That is a one that sticks, perm fire. Airplanes try to hunt us down. Small has got great AA. So we're not too scared about that. We're going to damage con the the the, um, the problems right there. Again, Marceau doing an effective job of uh, trying to push their Marceau and Puerto Rico into a bad position. So we're going to go ahead and come back to this the Alpha side. And again, see what the Alpha team is doing over there. Alpha team, uh, enemy team, has to then begin to engage and push to, uh, to take Alpha Cap. So it causes them to put their Vermont in the middle. It causes them to put their um, Puerto Rico out to the flank. Getting shot by Wisconsin and Commissar. And again, Marceau also revealing his vision right there. Power of the DPM of the small end right there. Ooh, we got another fire. Again, it's good to have heals. If you're going to be an open water gunboat, you need to have the heals. I've always said that's an important characteristic of a good DD gunboat player. You need to have the heals to correct your mistakes and the damages you're going to take. We also have engine boost, and we have the radar, like always. And here we go. We're going to pop the engine boost to catch up with this Marceau. We're going to put everything we can on this Marceau. If we can eliminate their Marceau, it gives us an upper hand because we've eliminated one of their most powerful uh, DPM machines on there. Puerto Rico and Commissar go down on their team right there. Power Wisconsin and St. Martin on the east, both sides working together on each side of the flanks and really helping us out. Look at the power of the DPM of the Marceau. We see torpedoes, hit the right mouse button for free look, take a look at where they're at, and then go back down targeting uh, to avoid the torpedo damage. And as well, boom, right there, splash two right there. We take out the Marceau, and now we have the advantage on the map, and it's pretty much just mopping up the team after that. Again, look at the power of what the Marceau and the small and combo can do. And again, at this point, is you can just watch um, and you guys enjoy the... Uh, just melting of uh, the Vermont. Again, we are such a threat right now that the, the Vermont would rather aim his big caliber guns at us. And there's one shot right there. Goes right behind us right there. And again, I'm just watching the shells. This one goes to the left, so I'm going to have hard right. And, ooh, he takes one shell. Look at the power of what Mar the uh, <laughs> Vermont guns can do. But you know what? Not after we're taking as much damage as we can off of Vermont right there. Look at all that firepower and the gunpowder just uh, blasting through the Vermont. A very easy superstructure to aim at. Unfortunately, his guns are doing a lot of damage to us. San Martin goes down, and San Martin takes out the Des Moines at the same time. Gearing is going to go ahead and take Bravo. Vermont and Ohio will duke it out, and not after we go ahead and see if we can push this Vermont. Let's see if we can cap. We can. We're capped alpha. We got all the caps now. At this point, it's just, uh, you know, mopping up uh, all the uh, the crumbs left over. Look at the power, all that firepower to DPM. Oh, I just love small end when it gets down to 1.2 second reload, and that is how the game ends right there. So Ohio will be the last one. He goes down no, but not after we went on point. So that is the power on Warrior's Pad. Look at that. Um, just so much damage. 133,000 damage right there. And uh, just doing our work on the gearing and the Marceau. Powerful small one right there. Doing so, so much damage. Let's take a look at the uh, overall play of the, um, actually, how it actually turned out. So again, what we started with, the initial positioning right there, you can see eliminating the destroyer is very, very crucial. Them going down one destroyer, again, gives you a better probability of winning. We sit there, we uh, start taking down the Des Moines as much as we can. Marceau right here had to pull back. Now, there's also times where you have to know when to choose and pick your battles. Marceau retreating, egressing, forcing them to Puerto Rico and Vermont to come out and draw them and taking alpha again we are going to go ahead and push and take the vermont and then we take the battle to marceau again they lose their two sh cruisers right off the bat right there they lose commissar and puerto rico on both sides right there marceau goes down to us and after this uh des moines is basically defenseless just taking it from the uh, broadside right there and now we just have two battleships where we just mop up and it's an easy kill right there 
And that is how you win. They take all the cap points and win on points. So let me know your thoughts on this strategy. What do you think of Smallin and Marceau duo combo in clan battles today? And as always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bill will be at the end of the screen. And uh, can't, can't thank you guys enough. At another 4,000 subs, we'll do another premium giveaway. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Say hi when you see me out there. And you guys stay safe. We'll see you soon. Cheers.